The next item on this tape is by Susan Hiller. It's an extract from the soundtrack from Ilan and ideally should be heard over loudspeakers. The text spoken by the voices and the sound volume are exactly the same as in the original recording. To help the air adapt itself to the strange rhythm, rapidity and softness of the voice entity's speech, each utterance is repeated several times. <laughs> Now the experimenter calls the Russian poet Vladimir Mayakovsky and the voice answers Mayakovsky. The experimenter tells the poet how difficult it is to convince people of the reality of the voice phenomenon. And in reply comes a statement which is typical for Mayakovsky's personality. Konstantin, Plui. In Russian, Konstantin, sit on it. The experimenter talks to his former teacher, the Spanish philosopher Ortega y Gasset, and the voice calls out, Ortega. The experimenter asks whether the research into the voice phenomenon had any significance and whether it was based on firm foundations. The voice answers, Entrojas muchas cuestiones. Spanish, you will solve many questions. Ivasa 
Akadim Mutakaisan Akaim Idayana The voice of an entity whom the experimenter does not know, but who calls herself Agnes, a helper, probably remarks here on unfavorable recording conditions. Agnes, furchtbar flicked. German and Latvian. Agnes. Terribly bad. A voice later identified as that of a man who lived and died in a place called Kirnbach in the Black Forest, Germany, says, Wartet auf Walter von Kirnbach. <laughs> German, wait for Walter from Kirnbach. A voice called James Joyce. Now a voice, which may be Winston Churchill's, says, Mark you, make believe, my dear, yes. Followed by Winston Churchill. session indicates that the voice entities have their own transmitting stations. What nun gute Nacht von Citadi? Russian and German. Now good night from Citadi.
language as system, language as symptom, language as shock, the fragmented body. They build walls out of fragments. She builds a wall against silence. Five seconds of silence for the dead, starting now. Their silent memorial. The enigma of divided origins, tradition and inspiration. Fruitful incoherence, formless production, aimless production as expression. Here, language breaks free. Outside of its own quotation, the voice is a relic.